Hi friends. Happy fucking Halloween. It's not actually Halloween, but this is the same glass I was drinking out of in my last video. Today's video is going to be like half haul and half collection because like some of this stuff I already had and some of this stuff I bought very recently and I wanted to share my, my Halloween decorations with y'all. Things that I have to make my house spoopy as fuck. Look at, it's freaking bats. I love Halloween. But um, recently I went to Michael's and they were having like 50% off all Halloween decor. What? So I went to Michael's the other day. So I'll start with the new things that I have. This beautiful thing, I love it, I love it, I love it. They had a handful of them. They had like one that was bigger and it had a really flimsy frame, but like this frame is actually like a really nice quality frame. Like it's heavy and it like, it's like a zombie. It's like, oh, like a, oh, look at that, look at that. I thought that was really cool for my desk because it's something that's like subtle and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Ah. My friends, um, Gabby and Terrence have one of these like of themselves that they got at like the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland. And I, I really liked that at their house and I was like, I'm stealing that idea for my own decor, but I'm just gonna buy one from Michaels because I'm not going to Disneyland to get my own zombie hologram. But this was, um, Originally it was $12.99, so it was like fucking $6. One other thing that I have um, added to my desk at home is this weird piece of art. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how much it was. It was probably like nine something, but it's a skeleton hand holding a rose with an eyeball in the middle. Is that a metaphor for something? Probably not, but it's cool and little. Like it's, it's like if Beauty and the Beast was a zombie movie. Yeah, I like it. It's little, it can fit on my desk. I could probably put something like hang something from the fingers if I wanted to, but it's quite sturdy. Like Michael's actually has really good quality Halloween decorations. Like <laughs> craft stores, man, fucking craft stores. Two things that have become my new favorite thing. I need to go back and buy all of them after this. Well, actually, after I get paid, I'm gonna see how much money I have because these were $5. I don't know if they were like 50% off $5 or like if they were originally $10, but they were just advertising specifically that these were $5, but they're candles. Um, they're not filled all the way, but I'm okay with that. But they're very heavy. So this is actually really nice glass, really thick glass. Um, this one has uh, rib cages on it and this one has skulls. They have ones with cats, one with like witches. Yeah, it's just like a printed thing on it. But the coolest part about this, I will include a video of it when I lit it. I don't want to light it right now. It lights up like when it's an actual candle that when you light it with fire, the candle changes colors. It's crazy. And I, like I said, I need to go back and buy more because these are way cheaper than hue lights fucking hue lights that are expensive as shit. But yeah, $5 for this. Like it doesn't smell like anything. Like it doesn't smell like anything. It's just wax. So like, it's not, you're not buying it for the scent. You're buying it for the aesthetic. And it's so cool. I have these like flanking my TV on my speakers and they look so dope. Like, oh my God, they look so cool. I need to buy more. <gasps> the other favorite thing I purchased, no, air plant. Get back in there, get it. This thing. This is three things in one. So the first being um, these little flameless candles that I bought a pack of six. Three are in here. One is in just like a vase and one is, or two are on like shelves. My little like square shelves that I have my pop dolls in, I put a couple in there. And I switched out my Bob's Burgers uh, pop dolls with my Nightmare Before Christmas ones. And those will stay up until Christmas. These guys, little flameless candles, they have these anywhere. You can get these at like Target or at like fucking Fred Meyer. They had orange ones, but I like the black ones better. But this candelabra, was straight up black. Like this was like a really ugly, like not even matte black. Like it was like a shiny, just like enamel black paint. But I took, which I already had by the way, I had this gold paint that I used to like paint paper mache once. And I had some sponge brushes. And so I took the gold paint and I kind of wiped off a decent amount of it. So it was closer to like a dry brush technique. And then I took it all over the candelabra and now it looks kind of antique. 
Look, look at how fucking spooky Pinterest I am. There's a little spider on it. And then I took like my hand on the base and like put some gold paint on it and put like fingerprints on it to make it look even spookier. Spooky scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Along with this little like uh, garland with little spiders on it. It's just a spooky garland. It's nothing too crazy. Yeah, I'm very proud of my decor right now and of my DIY ingenuity, which I usually don't do. Like I don't usually like think, oh, let me buy something and then paint it. But this, I was just like, oh, I could paint that. So I did and I like it. Now for some more spooky things that I will gladly keep up in my apartment all year round. It's always Halloween in my soul. I've showed you this in a video before. I know when I did like a little haul from the curiosity shop, this comes from Ballyhoo, my favorite curiosity shop that I need to go back to. But it's a little air planter guy, the little ceramic doll head. So what's not to like? And then my mother, because she knows me so well, made this one for me. Got a little ceramic doll head from wherever because she's an antique dealer and then got a little air planter and put it in there and gave it to me. And I was like, mother, how did you know that I already had one? They have, it's like a little sister now. Like it's so cute. I'm so happy. I don't want to paint these with corpse paint though because they actually have aesthetics to them. Um, but I do want to buy some like presidential busts and paint them with corpse paint. Another thing that my mother found somewhere, I'm not entirely sure where this thing, um, I don't know what it's made with specifically. Like it feels like wood but it's a very, very lightweight wood. So if it's wood, it's probably like, I don't know, balsa. No, it can't be wood because they can't be this. I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea because it's very light, like very light, but you knock on it and it's, but it's not plastic. I don't know. It's a skull that's, I mean, it's a pirate skull. I could paint this if I wanted to, but I kind of like that it looks kind of gross and like it was found in the ground, but I could put a candle in here. That might not be a bad idea. Just put one of the little flameless candles and just light up his face. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, my mom found this for me and I was like, all right, cool. Apparently, you know my inner Hot Topic mom. Literally, I was looking at Hot Topic the other day, just looking at all of the like cool fall looks and I'm like, oh my God, I want it all. I loved Hot Topic, shut up. One thing I found at Fred Meyer last year, was this Fred Meyer? It might've been Fred Meyer. I don't even remember. Um, it's a little crow skeleton in a cage. Despite all my rage, I am still just a crow in a cage. This one I like hung from my desk at work, which was kind of odd for a while. My boss was like, what is that? And I'm like, it's Halloween. Are you surprised I hung this above my desk? No, but yeah, it's a little, little guy that I have sitting on my bookshelf all the time. I don't take it down, but if I had, things to hang stuff from in my house. I would hang him from something, but I have nothing to hang him from. I don't remember how much this was. I have no idea. Fred Meyer actually has good stuff. Uh, Michael's has good stuff. Goodwill, the like spirit Halloween stores are so overpriced. Like go to craft stores and Goodwills. You will thank me later. Also, you can buy things from the Goodwill and then paint them to make them spooky, so. I actually have two of these bottles. I don't know why they specifically remind me of like potion bottles, but I found these at an estate sale that my mom was working. And I think each bottle was like $2. And I was like, oh, why did I hit the Like they look like pirate bottles, but they also look like potion bottles. I don't know. I feel like I want to put like, put something on them but I don't know. I don't know what I should do with them because I have two identical bottles like this. I have no lid for them, so I can't do anything like with a lid. If you have any ideas of what I could DIY on these cool bottles, let me know. But I feel like they give a certain aesthetic. They're not quite uranium glass, but close enough. I want uranium glass fixtures all over my house. And the last thing I actually have here which I also got from Ballyhoo, is my adorable little muskrat skull, which again, I've showed you in a video before. And I feel like I need to collect more things from Ballyhoo. Like I want like a crocodile skull. Like how cool would that be? Like having a crocodile skull, that'd be awesome. So I didn't buy a crocodile skull, but I did buy a crocodile claw for a keychain. But I figured I'd start small and not go like too ham with like skulls from animals in my house. This was just like, oh, it's like a little accent piece. It's not like, oh, hey, look at all my skulls. It's like, hey, look at my skull. I feel like he needs a name. I don't think we ever gave him a name. Yeah, this came from the curiosity shop, Ballyhoo. So you should follow them on Instagram because they have an amazing Instagram account. Like the guy who owns the store makes dioramas of um, mice on a motorcycle. 
or like a mouse, like taxidermy dioramas. One of the mouse scenes that I saw at the shop the other day, uh, it was a modest mouse, a modest mice band scene with um, workable Bluetooth speakers. What? He made a mouse on a motorcycle that like spun around. He made um, a mouse at a Ouija board and I need it in my life, but they're so expensive because they're like, it's like he's taxiderming a mouse and then also like making miniatures and it's just ridiculous. But yeah, Ballyhoo on Instagram, definitely check them out if you need weird oddity aesthetic inspiration. Um, or if you live in the area, you should go there. I do have um, a table runner, which I will include a picture of here that I got from Fred Meyer, actually. It was like $6 or something. I got inspired to do that because of Sarah Hawkinson who did something similar with her Halloween decor. I feel like I want a pillow somewhere, like a cushion in my house. And then just like more. I also went back to Michael's and I got this thing. These things and this thing it holds all my rings look at that i don't know i feel like i want like framed insects on my wall that wouldn't be weird right update i bought a weird beetle not hanging but in a jar busts of presidents and then paint them with corpse paint like they actually have a life-size figure of uh, jar jar binks it's like a seven foot tall fucking statue of jar jar binks I don't want that. Insect skeletons and like reptile skeletons. Ooh, a reptile skeleton in like a jar would be really cool. Yeah. Please like me still. I definitely am I'm still spookifying my apartment because I want more things. Let me know of your favorite places to shop for Halloween decorations, preferably inexpensive things because Ballyhoo's not cheap because it's like real things. Definitely Michael's. I will have to go back at one point because uh, those candles were $5. It's amazing. Yeah, and I mean, I, I generally like just like kind of creepy stuff. Like, I feel like I want to have, I just want like mystical and creepy and witchy and I don't know. I still need to think of what I'm gonna be for Halloween. Let me give you a song of the day. I really hope you guys wanted this video. It's only for 19 minutes. Song of the day. Song of the day. Actually, I'm gonna give you a song of the day um, from Tango Alpha Tango because they're actually playing on the tractor on Thursday and I hopefully get to go. Well, I'm gonna go, but I hopefully get to go with another person or two or three. Their song White Sugar is off their last full record. They played it on band in Seattle several years ago. I'll post a link to it in the description below. They're a great kind of bluesy three-piece rock band from Portland and I really, really enjoy their music and I've been seeing them play since like 2011 at like a house show in Tacoma. They played a house show with Chris Orlowski in Tacoma when I was like 22. So long fucking time ago. Yeah, definitely check out White Sugar from Tango Alpha Tango. And to my patrons, I love you. I appreciate you. You're amazing. Seriously, like so good to me. I, I don't, I don't deserve you. I don't deserve you. And I don't deserve all you subscribers. You're amazing. Like, holy shit. Like, thank you for joining this weird little family that I have even more exemplified as weird today. If you haven't subscribed already and you feel like joining the weird little family, please hit subscribe and then hit the bell notification to get notified when I upload things, even though the bell notification button doesn't work for everybody. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. For me, it hasn't really. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, happy Halloween. It's not Halloween yet. Thank you.